Hello again, this is 60% Cant. And today we'd like to talk about a subject, perspective, and how that relates to your choice, free will and action. A lot of good, good philosophical subjects here. So, I have this theory, you could call it, that we have kind of this, we have sort of free will. It's kind of like an illusion. Um, let me backtrack there. Our free free will, we free willy, our free willy lies in our choice of perspective. Beyond that, whatever perspective you choose, the actions um, that you quote unquote choose are inevitable they are as though you are like a robot and you are just following within that perspective now let's get let's explain that a little bit there's a cliche kind of thing that confident people can really succeed in life while people who are very doubtful and negative might encounter a lot of strife and that goes along with this idea. They might be, you could literally be in the same situation. And because you perceive things a certain way, you're going to act as, as though that belief is true. Say, I am really good uh, at softball. here you are playing softball and because you share you have that perspective you're going to act automatically that that is true because especially if you believe in it you're gonna kick ass at softball while somebody in the same situation if even the same exact person is like well I suck at softball they're going to behave automatically as though they suck and I believe that's where free will truly lies and that everything you do is inevitable because the, the choice you make in any situation and how to do about and how to go about something maybe your choice of cereal on the cupboard if you believe organic cereal is essential for health and you are believing yourself to be healthy then you're going to choose those that you believe to be healthy there's not really any choice about it you're because these are the the beliefs you've established for yourself it is inevitable what you're going to choose so you're in that same situation you believe organic is the right way is healthy for you but you believe yourself to be too poor it doesn't even matter how much money you have. If you believe you're poor, you're like, well, I can't afford that cereal. So you inevitably choose the cheap one. Your perspective is basically a, a summation. It's a kind of combination. <laughs> I was writing that. <laughs> I meant perspective. Perspective is a combination of belief well, you could say that it's the the present manifestation of belief. So belief is what you garner over a long period of time. It's the thoughts that you kind of solidify into your existence. You can have a lot of wayward thoughts. Like, is the world going to end? Is, is you know... <laughs> Is there a providence coming soon? Is Jesus coming down? You can have all sorts of different thoughts, but the ones that kind of linger, the ones that you think all the time, over and over and over and over again, this must be your brain, they're going to uh, stick around, and they're going to be this belief, which is almost like this concrete thing, this matrix within your existence that filters all possibilities that could happen into only a limited range of things.
So perspective, even if you have a certain belief, you can acquire different perspectives on that belief. It's almost like a lens, different shaping of certain beliefs. Whew, let me think of an example for that. Oh, buddy. Um, so you have the belief that Elvis was the king of rock and roll. It's not even a belief. That's just the truth. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, you can have different perspectives like he was unjustly <laughs> the king of rock and roll or that this is just the the thoughts of a bunch of people but not a concrete thing it's almost like a belief that you can you can see different sides of something you can also attempt to see somebody else's perspective although truly when you're do ever doing that when you're trying to be empathic you're seeing it through your your own lens you're trying to see what they're seeing through your sight. So that's always going to be distorted. But of course it's helpful to see this other perspective. Like maybe you're being an asshole. But you think you're being assertive. Neither of these are truth. You know, they're both, uh, a, they're both a perspective. They're both your opinions. And thus, that's where perspective is flexible. I believe a flexible perspective is, uh, is the true freedom in life. Because otherwise you're acting automatically. If you're stuck on a certain perspective, on a certain belief system, you are going to act automatically, like I said, like a robot based upon that. Your opinions, everything you say, everything you act is just going to be based upon that perspective. But if you allow your, your perspective to be flexible, to kind of s to know that there is no one truth. There's no such thing as truth even. There's only these millions and millions and millions of different perspectives. And if you kind of shine the light on multiple ones, you can see the bigger picture, truly. So next time you have a perspective, know that it is not the only one you can have. And you will have more freedom when you allow your perspective to be flexible. Because that is where free will is. Is free fill <laughs> is in your perspective.